Hey, this is Mikey with an exciting new video. I'm introducing my brand new preset I call Type Paths. Now, what is Type Paths? Um, it's a kind of a kinetic typography type preset, um, but it works differently. It's not just a, your typical animated font. Because it's a preset using shape layers and paths, you have lots of different options using it. So in this video, I'm going to show you the preset, um, how to work with it, and some of the cool stuff it does. So for instance, this is made with type paths. Um, let's kind of create something new. So I'm going to just go ahead and create a new composition so we can just start new. And how it works is it's a preset, so it's a shape layer preset, which means you don't apply it to a normal layer. What you do is make sure that there's nothing selected, find the type paths preset in your preset um, folder, double click, and it will automatically create a new shape layer and apply the preset to it. So let's take a closer look at what we can do with this. Let's go ahead and let's make this nice and big. Over here in the here's the effect controller and it's called type paths and first off you'll see I can switch between letters numbers or symbols let's start with letters and in this character I can switch from A B C all the way to Z so it's got every single letter and then there's this write on completion and that is it'll just write it on that's pretty cool. Now in this character control, we have uppercase, lowercase. Now in the event of numbers, there's no lowercase or uppercase numbers, they're just numbers. So it doesn't do anything. We can also italicize, and we can change the thickness of the fill and the stroke. So right now there's not a stroke, but I'll show you that in a second. So I can make this nice, big, and fat add a bit of a stroke to it, and we got a completely different looking font. And we got a size option right there as well. So that is that. Now what we can do is there's this alignment uh, folder down here, and what this does is it auto aligns things. So we set this to say the tracking of 150. I don't know if that's going to be sufficient for this, but if I then take this and duplicate it, you see it kind of moves it over. And so I'm going to go back to my original shape layer because that is set as the control layer you can see right here. And then I can kind of adjust the tracking out that way to kind of auto align things slightly. It's not going to be perfect because each letter, they're not monospace, so they're not the same width. Some of them are wider, like an M or a W versus an I or a J. But then we can come in and Let's have it write something else. So ABC, pretty nifty. And then let's do a quick animation of the write on. I'm going to animate the write on completion from 0 to 100%. I'm going to just copy those keyframes. And then I can paste them onto these others. And we've got a really quick animated font, very unique. These are shape layers, so they're going to work with all the motion blur. That's cool. Now I can also come in here, and this alignment, there's this auto align button. If I uncheck that, On the, if I go down to the control layer, which is the first one I made, if I uncheck auto align, it's going to put everything back to where it is. Right? But what this auto align does is it also makes it so everything is linked to that initial layer. So if I want to come in here and change the color, well, everything is going to change. If I turn that off, then just that original one changed and the other ones were back to normal. So that's kind of how you can link things together. There's a lot of stuff you can do with this. One thing I like doing, I'm going to just delete some of these other ones, is since they're shape layers, there's a lot you can do with this. 
So if I can come into the contents, I can add other things to this. So say like a, a wiggle paths, and now it looks all wiggly. So that's really cool. So that is Type Paths. It is available now over at cinemaspice.net. There's a link in the description, or you can click on the annotation on this YouTube video. So go check it out. If you have any questions, just feel free to ask, and I am here to answer them. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.